A53 Estil Province Blue Team. It's Floyd. As a hive tyrant, very durable commander walks through objects and cannot be suppressed from strong offense, disruption and support begins in melee combat with a basic synapse. Alongside Edger plays a Lord General, fights range combat, retinue of stormtroopers to help him out and really strong defense and support can also add to this retinue throughout the game. This is a Steel Legion elite scheme. Rounded off the blue team, it's an orc and it's Z-Torc as a mech boy to the point in command that fights range combat, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. Disrupt as well, this little fella. Red team, another orc first up, it's Zevargel as a war boss, a melee commander that walk through objects, strong offense, support and disruption. And this is the Freebooters DLC from Relic. Alongside on red team, King of Pythons is an Eldar Farseer support commander that fights in melee combat. Awesome buffs with some debuffs and control abilities too. And rounding off the team's Forest Radio as an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Some um, Black Templars elite scheme going on over here, I think. Two support commanders on this east side could be pretty powerful. Edge are going for the decap and he's just going to get shot down, I think, with double guardsmen. Tactical Marines, we have Banshees, we have double shooters moving up. That was a. That was the war banner going off. That weird sound you might have heard. Banshees immediately forced off the field, and so were the Dire Avengers. How did they get so close there? Farseer sticking around, but she's not be able to stick around long, and King of Pythons off the field very, very quickly. Now Forest Radio is fighting two players. The Farseer should be okay there, though, I think. Yep. Yeah. Apothecary's already used his heal, no doubt it was on the Tactical Marines, you see the Lord General there chasing them down in melee, trying to finish off model as they retreat, but they should be okay, and blue team are going to, oh no, Apothecary's going to go down I think, yep, sneaky mech boy teleported after him and shot him down, but a power bash immediately on this east side against a full gen farm, and these guys have burners as well, so it's not going to last is it, not a very good opening for the red team over there, uh, King of Python just got too close with his stuff. Not sure what sent the Banshees packing so quickly. I think they just ran into double shooters. Spawn mines going off. Nicely done on those sluggers. They would have dropped models very, very quickly if they didn't retreat straight after that. Power of Tyrant gets the decap, but took a lot of shots doing so. And now needs to retreat. And that's probably going to mean, yeah, almost a full retreat. The Hormagons will just back off, though. Termagants do... Oh, they dropped one model. Just one model. Really good push forward there for Floyd. Shooters both getting their knob leaders up. Extra DPS also increases the DPS of the squad, I believe, by 15% once you get to tier 2. Catachins, all reliable, knockback, ouch. Bad news for those Banshees. Jumping in, though, our Assault Marines on Forest Radio just saw the Spiritual Rights heal go off from the Spirit Stones of the Farseer there. Another jump on the Catachins this time. Red team needs to back them up. Shuriken is pushing forward a bit. Kadachins are wading in. They have those power melee weapons. They can be pretty damn dangerous to Assault Marines in Tier 1. Once the Assault Marines get their Sergeant though and they can mercilessly strike them all over the gaff, they fare a lot better. Scouts getting close with their shotguns. Looks like they've already used a shotgun blast though by the looks of their energy. Again, Dire Avengers pretty damn close to the action here. A lot of cover they're not, they're not using. Although Red Team will stroll forward and can now shoot down these war banners and maybe hit power. I'm not sure exactly. Oh look, they got at least one generator then, the blue team over here. I'm guessing they got the node as well. Have you dropped a model shooter boys? Yes you have. Floyd now needs to come back out of base and assault the orc position. And do we have any war gear for the war boss? We do have angry bits. But other than that, we just need to, I think, navigate the big shooters aiming what's that, suppressing his Hormagants and his Termagants, and we have a Warrior Brood up with a Barb Strangler. War Boss will most likely tr charge these guys down immediately. Needs to be quick on those crippling poisons. East side, though, they're assaulting the power. Shuriken trying to hold things in place, but there's the Catachins. We have double Catachins from Edger. You saw a disruption there from the All Reliable. There's another All Reliable. Gonna see a grenade from the Dire Avengers, perhaps? Nope. Banshees are in there, but they got knocked back by a shotgun blast from the Catachins. 
and they go retreating the hell out of there, just jumped over that wall. More shuriken on the way for the King of Pythons. I don't think that shuriken is set up. That's why it's not firing right now. No, it isn't. There we go. It's going to set up now. Good little push from the red team, although the Farsia went down over here. Did they get any generators? Maybe they didn't. Maybe it wasn't a good push at all. Maybe it was all puffing and puffing and not getting anything done. Nice little grenade. Sluggers need to back off, but... Oh, Shuriken is still here being a pain in the ass. There's still Tactical Marines and Dire Avengers too. There's a grenade from those guys. And uh, this little assault is not over. And these guys are getting a flame. And here comes another Shuriken to back them up. Being suppressed by the Shooter Boys. But they'll be running away. And they might get a generator in the end. West side looks like it's still pretty red. Holy crap, a lot of dead stuff here. Turn against dropping like flies. Dropping a couple of models each are the Shooter Boys. What about the heroes over here? War boss still level 1 with cyborg implants now. The Eye of Tyrant with Rendon Talons and Extended Carapace. Nice little combo. You can charge in and use the Seismic War immediately once you hit uh, level 2 with the Hive of Tyrant. Sluggers will need to be very careful of that. Seismic War going off. Banshee's jumping over walls trying to get in amongst those catechins but they are shotgun blasted back. I can't remember the last time I saw double catechins on the field. For those that don't know who Edger is, he was a very, very successful player back in retail in 1v1 and towards the later end of his playtime in 2v2s. And I guess now he's playing elite. For now, at least. Maybe regalvanized by the announcement of Dawn of War 3. Those catechins getting away with 13 hit points there. Mech boy with the battery pack and it's constant action on this eastern edge the middle is just basically abandoned nobody going for mid VPs and Floyd has it seems a clear opening on the west side yeah he's gonna cap it up Ravenna brood on the field they do have their devourers and Floyd dropped one of these termagant broods Guardsman with a sergeant backing off that mid point. They did cap it though. Oh, Sniper Rifle already up for the Lord General. So we might see um, Stormtroopers, maybe two Stormtroopers, which would be a pretty mental army. Double Guardsman, double Catechins, double Stormtroopers. In fact, he's going for a Manticore right now. Forest Radio, happy to go tier two with just the Salt Marines up. Could get a Flamer as well. What about that? Apothecary. Yeah, Purification Rites and the Sanguine Chainsword. Grenade from the Dire Avengers, but they're easily able to retreat away. Banshees on the prowl have found a weird boy. He's getting the warpath, which will make those sluggers pretty scary. Oh, wow. They just wiped out the Banshees. They're already pretty scary, it turns out. And they are with that slugger uh, knob leader fella. He's pretty mean. He has like 400 hit points or something and a 65 DPS power melee weapon. He can put some hurt in on you, but these double shurikens are proving to be... More than a nuisance, even with double catechins over there. Mythical Strike might have something to say about that, though. Did Floyd cap up over here? Kind of. Hormagaunt's still working on it. They're going to face a war boss backed up by Sluggers soon, though. Here's a Web Brigade all the way on this eastern edge. That could be telling later on. As the game starts to tran transition to, like, the um, contested VP and going after the Naturals. You could use that Weber Gate to bash power. Has the Manticore gone off yet? I'm not sure it has. Where has he parked it? He's just scooted it forward and nudge. See, everything here is buffed by the fire on my target. And he's got a couple of retinue members as well. What's he got? He's got the Sergeant fella who gives out medical backs and the Vox Operator fella who often bugs out, I hear, his little call-in for reinforcements often doesn't work, which is unfortunate. Tactical Marines getting a Stern Guard upgrade. Congratulations, you're now first company. Here they come. Can change their ammo type to combat all targets, and I guess it's going to be Hellfire rounds to shoot up these Orcs and that Weird Boy and the little Guardsman fellas. Weird Boy, are you going to do an attack, mate? There we go. 
Oh, hit the fast here. Mech boy teleporting in to tie up the shuriken, but there's another one there. Not sure what the cooldown in the cooldown is on his teleport, but I don't think it's gonna be fast enough for any of that. No, he needs to run away. Has his big shooter now. And he's going for the custom force field, a really annoying piece of war gear. Knock stuff knock stuff down around you and gives him some defensive bonuses as well. There's a brood nest over here. Zone throat is up. War boss. Oh wow, with his power claw. That will take down a zone throat in two or three hits, I think. Oh look at his sluggers though. Trying to fight a Hive Tyrant with Rending Talon. It's not going so well for them. They get away. And they had Ard Boys on them. So maybe with that, they, they would not have. Hormagos are trying to chase them down here. Down to 72 hit points. I think these Sluggers will be okay. All of these Orcs have to run away though. Raven a Brooder in there. And now Floyd can cap up this side. Stick Bombers on the field for Zebra Girl. If you didn't notice, Wraith Guard are up for King of Pythons. And they are using the... Um, Sneaky webway over there. Our blue team even gonna cut on onto the fact that there is a uh, webway go over there. That's pretty far out of the way. Autark on the field. Sub commander for Eldar. Pretty cool to see her around. Very, very quick on her feet. Forest Radio now supporting this west side of some assault marines. They do have their sergeant. He has a power sword. You see him to the, towards the left of your screen there. Can't quite get a Ravenna Brood model though. A nice bit of support. Because Freud would have um, easily capped up this whole area and gained a foothold. Could have put up another Brood Nest and stuff. And would have been difficult to push against for Zebra Gel. Although he does have Stick Bombers now. He wants to try, if he can, try and charge that war boss after that zone throw. But it's going to be tough with Cricklin Poison and Barb Strangler Warriors around. Wraith God were in the garrison. Manticore tried to finish them off, but they do, I think, get away. That's a hell of a lot of ranged firepower on retreat. And they do go down. Autark being called in again with her stunning grenades. Gets off an attack and runs away. Wraith God down is a pretty big deal over there. What else we got going on? Nobody's purchasing anything. Floyd might be thinking about tier 3 right now. 20 power more and he can go there. Zebra Gale also pretty close to tier 3. In fact, if you've got tier 3 right now. Stick Bomber's doing their thing. Bit of an unpredictable throw, but he can do a hell of a lot with it. And they're pretty good in melee, as you can see. Helping to take down this Hive Tyrant. Yeah, down he goes. See the Synapse Backlash there. It was a risky... Risky undertaking, but it, he pulled it off, I think. Are these stick bombs going to get away? 185 to 431 on the VPs. Blue team have a hell of a lot of catching up to do VP wise. I think uh, Floyd needs a bit of help over there from Edger. We saw Forest Radio dipping over to support Zebra Gellum. Forest Radio is the Eastern player. Right? Right. So he went a hell of a long way over there at a really good time. 171, 431. Red team. With a hell of a VP lead. I don't think this power has been pushed. In fact, it has been pushed. Because that generator is almost down. I guess Floyd did get after it at some point. Imperial Guard trying to fight assault marines in melee. It's not going to work out for you, lads. But there's a Manticore Strike. Does nothing. Oh, I guess it made him run away. Oh, Shotgun Scouts with a nice grenade, I think. Can he finish off these Guardsmen here? Down to four hit points. That <laughs> drops down a bunker to um, stop them chasing. I don't think they needed the bunker, but maybe they did. Forest Radio seems to think so. Off goes an old reliable. He still has both the catechins. And they do have their sergeants. You see him at the front with, with the melter gun. Now infiltrating momentarily because they were still for a while. Farsi are now decapping stuff. And still keeping the pressure up on this power. What's going on west side? It's blue, but for how long? There's a whole bunch of walks now. War boss is pretty angry, charging through. 95 heavy melee DPS on his thing. You don't really want to fight him. There's the big stomp from the cyborg implants. What is he up to now? 11 to 66 hit points at level 2. That's not bad. I have found also level 2. One to one now. As Zebra Gale retakes that west side. 
So we have Stern Guard Veterans and Tactical Marines from Forest. But um, seems like Edge is pretty determined to push through here. Has the support of Z Talk Forest Radio, recognizes that it's 2v1 and kind of backs away, but now turns to engage. With that jump, there's a purification right seal. It's a hell of a lot of DACA though on your scouts. Scouts can drop so quickly from double shooter fire. Down go some guardsmen. Help to level up some stone guard veterans there who are using the hellfire rounds, you can tell because of that little skull decorator and also the green acid stink coming off the units. But the carry is level four with combat stims. Helping to kill some stuff. I guess he's putting it on the assault marines. But um it'd be good to put it on the stone guard veterans as well. Are you gonna cap Mr. Floyd? Nope. Oh, it's looted tank. What's he got for that? He's, he's tier 3, Floyd. He's got a lot of resources. Nothing yet, though. King of Pythons getting out double Wraith Guard. Not going tier 3. Everyone else is tier 3. Edger getting some Stormtroopers out. Referring them to Kasukin, it seems. Kasukin are reasonably expensive. I think they're like 460 or 450, 60 or something like that. Red team doing well though with a 2 to 1 and they've got blues down around 100 VPs and that can disappear very very quickly in this game. So throat moving away and then retreating. The warboss though I think did a special attack so it was pretty safe in a way. Raven of Brood burrow striking in just to knock that warboss back and the DPS of the rendered talon shouldn't be discounted. 75 melee DPS. Makes the war boss flee. Red team pushing through the mid hit. Mantico strike. Ouch. Forrest deciding to take it. No, he does retreat out. I thought he was going to use the uh, Angels of Death or something, but decides to retreat off. He's got a hell of a lot of resources, Forrest. Guess he's going for a land raider. And he's got enough for an orbital as well, where they can save up for terminators after that. Wraith Guard inside a garrison. Firing also. Slugger is using burn that house or whatever it's called to burn them out. And he's going to lose more Wraith Guard here, King of Pythons, in almost exactly the same way. Getting in a garrison when you're surrounded by stuff. Down they go. Where's the other squad? All the way back at base. That Web Brigade is still over there. West side is uncapped. Carnifex on the field for Floyd with a barbed strangler. In terms of AV, it doesn't have a whole lot. The Barb Strangler will do a lot of damage to vehicles if you can hit them. Very slow moving projectile though. And the Zone Throat does have, of course, the Focus Warp Blast. Warboss can tie up that kind of effect to quite a lot of damage to it as well. It won't have melee resistance with the Barb Strangler. 105406. It's a battle wagon for Z-Talk. Pretty awesome super unit. Bristling with guns and can run stuff over. Because why not? It's Orky. Put stuff inside it and even more guns start shooting and it gets faster. I like that little indicator there to see how many units are inside it. I wish all of the transport vehicles had that kind of thing. I wonder why it was only put on the battle wagon. Maybe specifically because it is buffed when something's inside it, I guess. Land Raider Edema on the way for Forest Radio. Takes a hell of a long time to get out that thing. I think it's 75 seconds build time. But it's out now. And uh, is he going to take it to the west side? I guess he is, right? Maybe not. Picking off over here. Patachin's getting a heal from the medical sergeant medipack, I imagine. Magical strike going off on some Eldar. Right Lance is going to have to run away. Here comes a battle wagon out of nowhere to run stuff over. Couldn't quite finish off this Eldar stuff though. Now trying to charge through. Can't quite finish off those Dire Avengers. Just the um, Exarch getting away there. What's this? Capping, being sneaky. It's Scouts. Mick Boy's not happy. And they don't get the cap, but they did get a decap. Need to retake him, Mr. McBoy. Oh. Well, I thought they died. They, they survive. 
Lord General levels up to three. And we do see Cap. West side then. Battle wagon going after the looted tank. Hive time going after it, although he doesn't have an anti vehicle weapon. Look at this though. Hormagons doing the business on some looters there. These are endless swarm Hormagons, up to 10 models. Here comes Floyd's radio though with the Land Raider Redeemer. And it's going to be hard to deal with for Floyd. Zone throw off the field now. I don't think it's worth trying to turn around the Barb Strangler kind of fix and take some shots. Better just run the hell away, I think. Does get a shot on the Assault Marines, but can't save those Termigants. Rocket run. But there's Angels of Death to stop the knockback and block 50% of the damage. So, that was nicely done by Forrest. He's still got loads of red as well. Could get Terminators later on. Looks like something in the blue team's pushed through and is going for the red team's VP. If you take a look at the minimap to the bottom left there. Wraith Guard trying to shoot the crap out of stuff. Are they going to be able to catch up to this battle wagon? I don't think so. It's going behind the shot blocker as well. And now the Land Red Redeemer is relatively safe over on this west side. It can, I think, pull back a little bit and really support them over here. And watch the middle though, because Floyd just capped it with his level 4 hive turret. More looters for Zebra Girl. Most likely to get a beamy death gun. Big bursts of anti-vehicle damage. Another carny fix of Floyd. And uh, Venom Cannon, I suppose, to go after this Land Raider Edema. Although he could just charge in the thorn back and get quite a lot done. Because this thing uh, now suppresses you with its uh, Flamestorm Cannons, or whatever they're called, which is pretty mental. Suppresses you quite quickly, too. Not quite as good at supporting as it was. It's... Um, little damage reduction passive buff thing that was around it is no longer there I don't think special attack from the Hive Tank knocking down all four models looks like he's happy to die here nope he's going to try and run I thought he was just going to try and kill something and if he dies he dies but he's trying to get away and goes down level 7 apothecary his heal gets better every two levels so level 7 is pretty nice for that you need some repairs Mr. Battle Wagon are sluggers inside it? No, they're here. Sluggers can repair for orcs. The mech boy can also repair. He's back at base right now. The fight over the west side begins in earnest, I guess. What did you get for your other carny effects? He's going thorn back. The more aggressive choice. I think Venom Cannon would have been better, but we'll see how it pans out. Just um, regurgitated some rippers or whatever they do. Where do they come from? What orifice did they come out of? 92 to 259. 2 to 1 for red, as it has been for a lot of the game. But blue team are not out of it. They have big armies and a Bane Blade on the way for Edge. He still has that Manticore also. And he's pushed it forward a little bit so he can hit this west side. Anointed Power Axe doing the business for the Apothecary. Blue Tank, have you leveled? You need to turn around, fella. Showing its rear armor there. Bright Lance getting shots on the battle wagon. Weird boy still around. He's level 2. Don't go forward, battle wagon. You're going to get shot up. Warboss trying to go after it, but it's constantly being knocked down by the death roller on the front of the battle wagon. Is that what it's called? It seems like it would be called that. Oh, run away then, Warboss. Level 3. 12, 14 hit points. It'll be fine. Running back to the Land Raider, of course, acts as a retreat point, which makes it the incredibly powerful support platform that it is, in, especially in 3v3 game, because you're supporting an entire team with it. Bane Blade is in attendance. Manticore Strike going off. Manticores can be really painful for land raiders because they're so fat. It's quite easy to hit them. Thornback kind of effects barging through. There's not a whole lot here to threaten it, really. Warboss is going after it. The looted tank can now get shots on it. But um, our blue team actually pushing here seems like a kind of half-hearted half-hearted push. I was expecting him to wait until the 
Bane Vader was closer before we started Manticore striking. Heavy turret going up from the Lord General, called in from the Global Bar. Oh, down goes some stick bombers. Not sure what they were trying to do chasing a Carnifex. Warboss is still chasing it though. Put Ard Boys on himself. Now turns to engage the heavy turret. Might take it down before he has to retreat as well. And he does. Took it down in about four hits, I think. Uh, I believe it's a 35% damage increase on user choppers. That's a dead hive turret. In fact, he's, he's still there from when he died before, right? Orcs trying to be annoying and cap stuff. The slugger's getting away with a slither of health. And uh, Marines leveling up, I guess. Level 4 and level 4. Yes, they are. 28259. Wraith Guard are going to die. No, no, no. They get away. Bane Bade still sitting pretty. No sign of a repair bunker to support it. Nob Squad on the field for Z Talk and he's pushing through the mid with it. This could be a lifeline four blue teams can push the mid and hold it for a little while it might force the land raider to rethink where it's parked manticore strike holy crap hit a hell of a lot of stuff there including some friendly raveners level three they do get away there's a rocks oh wow nicely placed everything seemed to move relatively quickly but it did still get hit what is this now Creeping Barrage from the Lord General. Won't knock over the um, Wraith Guard. They do have their Wraith Bone as well. Ouch. Oh, they didn't get the cap. The Demolisher Cannon killed the model that was capping. The closest model kind of thing. 28, 225. It's a double cap for Blue Team. Can they hang on with 28 VPs remaining? Down goes the um, Weird Boy there. That was Z Talk's Weird Boy. He's going to float around for a while, then explodes. Oh, it actually hit something. The Weird Boy Explosion actually hit something. It hit those Seer Council. Seer Council versus Nobs. Not a good fight for Seer Council if, it's a, if it's a 1v1. But it's not a 1v1. We have Stone Guard with Kraken Rounds loaded in. And um, Tactical Marines with a Plasma Gun doing a hell of a lot of damage to this Nob Squad. Not to mention the actual damage of the Seer Council. Which is pretty significant. Power Melee as well. But they are knobs, and they're using Frenzy, and they do not care about your plasma guns. Now they care. They don't like being knocked over, knobs. It makes them upset. Still a double cap for blue team, but you suspect that red team will retake their natural. West side is still all to play for, though. There's still two Carnifexes here, too. No sign of a bunker or a brood nest. Which is a bit odd. Edger actually has a hell of a lot of resources that he's not spending right now. Good push from the blue team. There's a Bane Blade exploding the crap out of stuff. Blue team capping the VP. Yes, they are. Triple now. Red team don't have their natural back yet. There's more blue stuff there. Really good two-pronged offensive by the blue team. And I think this land raider has had it. Being smacked around by Thornback, which um, then goes down. But the Land Raider is not going to live, surely. Down to five hit points. Down it goes. What's going on on the VP then? Blue team are not making it easy to retake. I thought they'd retake it immediately. Seer Council jumping around doing their fancy Eldar stuff. Weird Boy's not super amused. Instantly replaced by Z Talk. GG says Zebragel looks like uh, he thinks it's over and I guess it is because King of Pythons and Zebragel lost a lot of stuff and of course Forest Radio lost the land raider and blue team have massive tricked out armies so it's double cap and blue team look like they are going to pull this out of the bag kept their stuff alive that kind of getting away from that war boss was pretty big because it pushed through and did a bunch of damage to that land raider. I guess Forest Radio could have just kept it moving there. Not sure why he didn't. Maybe it got some stunned by something I didn't see. Or slowed down at least. Reinforced putting up on this looted tank. But um, they're going to see this game out, the blue team. 28 to 1 and there it is the double cap takes it through let's look at the heroes end of the game level 7 hive tyrant did really well with those rendon talons
Get a level 7 Lord General as well with a an almost full retinue. Missing his medical sergeant here, I believe. Z Talks, Mech Boy level 7 and down. Had the Daka 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 Big Shooter, also Battery Pack and Custom Force Field. Not sure if he replaced any of that. War Boss level 4, Power Claw, as usual. Farseer level 9. And we also had a level 9 Apothecary. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.